Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? This is Robo, or Robo Hunter X, or the more. You've probably seen a, maybe a few names here, but this will just go with Robo for now. We are back. Back in Eve. I resubbed. Now, I kind of like doing tutorials, and I've done a few of them in the past, and I've gotten, you know, good remarks and whatnot. So, you know, I feel that these are helpful. And I ran across something today that confused the living Christ out of me. And that is the new T2 Inventions system. Now, if you're new to EVE, uh, you probably don't know what the old system is, so I'm just going to TLDR it here for a second. The old system consisted of you taking... Oh lord, if it's in here. You can see there's a lot of copies here. Uh, so you basically, you took one of these, which is a original that you bought from an NPC, a blueprint original, right? And then you would go in here, and you would go, and I'm not going to get into the weeds with how many runs you should have, but... Um, if it's something like ammo or drones or whatever, you would put the maximum runs per copy. So for here it's 300. And then you would run it, right? So you'd get, as you can see over here, all of these copies. All of them. And these actually have 1,500 on them because I made all these before the big changes. So the maximum runs back then was 1,500. Uh, the times were actually different as well. So it, it took about the same time as it does now. Anyways, so you get all these copies and then... Um, unfortunately, I actually used them all. I gotta go to Cheetah and buy some more, which I'll probably do right now. All right, so we're actually going to multitask here. I'm just undocking and heading to Cheetah. So there's these things, right? These are called data cores, and to invent, you basically, as you can see here, this awesome new UI. I absolutely love this UI, just mainly because of the blueprints uh, thing here. But I'll go into that later. Um, so you basically take. Let me set this back to one. So this would take two of these data cores, which is, you know, just an item you buy, and then two of these, uh, which totals like, you know, half a million, basically. Ah, that is absolutely loud. I'm going to have to turn that down in the video, but... So, yeah, and then there is something else that you would add on here, which was basically this uh, multiple-use item. It would sit in your inventory, or sorry, it'd sit in your hangar, or your POS lab, or whatever you're doing your research at, and it would just use that item. And then there's a third thing here, which uh, kind of messes with... I, you probably can't read this. I'm unfortunately doing this in 720 because I can't record at 1080 because my hard drive sucks. So this, uh, like, for example, this one increases the probability by 80%, the max runs by 4, material efficiency neg minus 1, and blah, 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 whatever. So yeah, you got that going on. And these are usually not worth it. Usually. They're kind of weird sometimes. So, if you have a BPC that has maximum runs, uh, which is, you know, back then it was 1500, this would basically give you a blueprint copy, and the BPCs for the hammered head too, as you can see, would max out at about, uh, let's say, I, I believe it was 20, right? So as long as you have 300, sorry, 1500 out of 1500 max runs on that copy, you would get 20. If you had anything less, you would get like 19 or 15 or whatever. So if you had whatever half of 1500 is, because I suck at math, I'm going to use the calculator. Wow, 750. <laughs> That's pathetic. So if you put 750 on there, you'd only get 10 runs on the T2 BPC, which is kind of pointless. But you'd be able to do them faster. So that's how it used to work. Now time for the new confusing system. Although it's really not that confusing, I just didn't get it at first. Alright, so the old system, you'd basically sit here and the maximum amount of science jobs, same thing with industry jobs that you can have on any character, is 10. So you'd fill up all of your slots with doing this uh, research job that took about 6 hours for these T2 drones. So every 6 hours you have to come back here and cycle them, as I would call it. And then it would take, you know, two more of these, two more of these, blah, 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 blah. I have to go into the POS, go into the region, and, because you couldn't go between regions and do science jobs, just because that's how EVE used to be. But, yeah, it was very obnoxious. Very, very. So this new system is pretty fantastic, actually, and I'll tell you the rest as soon as I dock. So here we are in everyone's favorite station. It's like that Walmart in the bad part of town, because as soon as you undock, everybody's trying to kill you and take your stuff. Yeah. Cheetah, 4-4. Four, four. And this is where I can show you the rest of this. So as we were going on, we were talking about the old system of basically having to fill up 10 slots every 6 hours and cycle them and blah 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 blah. 
So here we go, we have this uh, BPC here. Now, this is awesome. I, I absolutely love this. You can see over here, this is the outcome. There's 44.5 success probability per run. And <laughs> that's another thing I forgot to mention. Before, half the time, literally half the time, 44.5%, which you can you can see the skills here, uh, impacts it by 30%, whatever. Can, uh, you know, it can fail half the freaking time. And sometimes you just get runs where it's just like eight things fail and all of a sudden you miss an entire cycle so you can't really produce anything. And, oh, no, I'm not efficient. Yeah, so it, it was very obnoxious. Now you make these copies and you can set this. And as you can see over here, this is the outcome. And I can do all the way up to 1,500 job runs here. And, again, this is because this is a older BPC and I guess they just <laughs> left the copy runs on there, which is kind of funny. The new ones are going to have 300. So even if we do 300 here, that is 46 solid days of doing invention. And as we can see here, one run takes 3 hours 45 minutes. Uh, this is... I don't think this is going to be modified. Um, so, yeah. Now, instead of coming back every freaking 6 hours, I can automate this, and I can set how many runs I want. And I've noticed this trend among industry like everywhere. I'm able to set when I want these to come out. Same thing with building things. I can set the job runs to match the duration that I want. So for example, if I go to work and I'm, I know I'm going to be back in 10 hours to play EVE, I'll just modify this to try to get around 10. 11 hours. See, that's not even that bad. So after that, when I come back, I'm going to see if I was able to produce this. Now, as you can see, this says 44.5% probability per run. So I'm doing three runs here, which means statistically I'm going to get at least one out of three of those right technically <laughs> now if it was over 50 I'd probably get two out of three but it's 44.5 in my case because I don't have these maxed out which I really should you know I've been playing Eve for seven years you think I could max these out but whatever now building you just do building the same way you know you would uh, go in here and I actually have an example I have some some uh, BPCs here as you can see, it's got 10 runs, it's got this base, 2% material efficiency, 4%. As you can see, it's got 2% material efficiency, 4% time efficiency. And again, you can modify that by going into the invention and choosing one of these. And as you can see here on the outcome, like for an example, it's now 3%, 2%, 84%, 0.5%. And again, these can, uh, these can be, you know, useful. But the problem with these is, let me just show you. Look how much they cost. <laughs> Half a million for that one. And that's just to do 10. So, I uh, gotta weigh your cost versus benefit there. As you can see, this is <laughs> 2.5 million per unit. This is insanity, how much these cost. I wouldn't suggest using these if you're a beginner. Uh, you could easily make profit by uh, again training these skills up to at least level 3, as I've got here being able to boost your chances pretty much close to 50%. And, uh, you know, using something small that sells quick like drones or T2 missiles, T2 weapons, um, T2, like, shield modules, uh, those are kind of iffy sometimes. I know, like, the invulnerability fields don't really have that much of a prop margin, but, again, drones and ammo are something really, really simple to jump into. And, you know, I still build Hammerhead 2s to this day because they just sell like hotcakes. It's like lemonade on a hot summer's day. It's just they just sell like crazy. That's really bad, but whatever. All right, one last little tail end bit of info here to throw on that I kind of forgot to mention is something else about doing invention, and that's the fact that you won't have skills. As you can see here, there's three different skills that I need in order to build this, and this ties back into the basically the probability modifier. Uh, to do this, I can't remember. If you hit show info on like a copy or something like that and go to industry here, as you can see, this pretty much just requires level one of all these. Now, keep in mind there's a bit of a buy in here. Uh, this doesn't cost too much, as you can see. It's only cost, right? I lied. These cost about 10 million per pop. Uh, this is just because this is Jita and everybody buys stuff at 10 million and sells it at 11. That's just how the market works. So, each one of these is 10 million a pop. As you can see, 10 million. And then this one's cheaper. This one's only like a million. Right? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the LP one. So, you know, that's about 
21, 22 million just to build a what I like to call an entire line of something. So like graviton physics, electronic engineering, these are going to be based around drone things. Also, these are going to overlap a lot when it comes to skills uh, like Galante encryption method, blah blah blah, whatever. Again, all you do to see this is you can just pull up a blueprint, hit the info on it, and then go over here and it'll tell you exactly. Remember, you need to do this on a T1, like just a Hammerhead 1 blueprint. You can't do this on the Hammerhead 2. There really aren't any Tech 2 blue BPOs anywhere in the game itself. There are, but they go for like trillions of ISK because you could imagine why. You don't have to invent on them. So, uh, when you pull your copy into here, this will be red. It'll show you. Like I said, I at least suggest getting these up to level 3. Um, I could really train these to level 5 and get like 50 probably around that. Uh, success probability, but at least get the level 3 because it's a very um, exponential rate that you actually, so like level 1 has more effect than level 2 than level 3, etc, etc, so once you get up to level 3, it kind of starts slowing down, but um, yeah, definitely train these up. So I hope this was a somewhat useful introduction to industry, or actually, well, industry as well, uh, but invention and how the new system works and I hope that you guys found this video good um, I'm probably just gonna make another basic probably an introduction to industry as a whole I meant to do this like a year ago but you know when this system came out actually it's like two years I lost track of time and college so yeah so anyways my name's Finrobo, Robo and I'll see you guys in the next video